And then here we have our verification activity, which allows us to look at our data extensions and verify that our data extension data is correct. So if our data extensions meet a certain number or if they're not meeting a certain number or criteria, then this verification activity can allow us to go on to the next step in the automation or it can stop the automation, depending on the criteria that you set. So let's click configure and we need to select the data extension that we'd like to verify. So there are no data extensions in this automation, so we're gonna click this drop down button and we're gonna click all data extensions. And now we have our list of data extensions that live in Marketing Cloud. I'm gonna choose my demo extension that I created and I'll click next. And this is where we define our rules. So we can choose our conditions, we can choose the count is or is not, and then we can put equal to, less than, greater than, outside this range or inside this range. I'll choose equal to, and then I'll put nine because I know that there are nine records in this data extension. If our criteria is met, then I can stop the automation or I can send an email notification and I can choose the recipient email addresses and put a note for that person receiving the email. And we have our logic over here and then we have the summary of our verification activity here. And when we're happy with that, we can click finish. And that's it for our verification activity in Automation Studio.